Hey, so I just wanted to take a couple minutes and talk about pricing. I know it's a hot topic and there's probably some things that you don't know about pricing your house and how a professional would come to determine the value of your house. So the first thing that I want to talk about is Zillow and Zestimates. So let's just throw that out the window because the way that Zillow comes up with a price is by data and statistics and there's so much more like data and statistics is definitely something that comes into the price but there's also an art to it as well so your house is an individual it's not the same as every single house on the market it's not like it's a product on the shelf there's different upgrades that you've done and it's in a different location than the other houses in the neighborhood so you really have to fine-tune the price on your individual house it's going to look like the houses in the neighborhood, but it won't be exactly the same. So some determining factors are number one, age, number two, size, number three, lot, number four, condition. And also we wanna take into consideration the maintenance that's been done on the house. So when I am determining the price of a house, whether I'm buying it myself or I'm listing it for someone else, what I do is I really deep dive into the neighborhood, the area, if need be, I will go into neighboring towns and make a price adjustment. So that's something that an appraiser will do and I've learned a lot from the appraisers that I've worked with. But determining market value, we're really gonna dive into these factors and determine a price that's individual for your house. So pricing in today's market is very unusual, okay? So in the past, typically what I always did is determine a price and then you list the house at that price and people bid a little bit lower, they're getting close to it or maybe they're bidding a lot lower, but that's not how we're pricing houses in the, this market. What I'm seeing is that a house goes on the market, if it's overpriced even a little bit, it's sitting. So let's just have an example of a $500,000 house. And if you list that house for 550, it's gonna sit. It doesn't matter what the condition is, what the lot's like, it's just gonna sit there. But if you price that $500,000 house at 480 or 490, you will get higher than asking. So that's what I'm seeing in the current market is you price it a little bit lower than the value and then you go over asking. But if you price it a little bit higher, you're not gonna get anything. So by getting the highest amount for your house, what you wanna do is determine what the market value is. I will help you with that. We will come up with a market value price, price it a little bit lower than the market value, and then it gets bid up higher, where if you price it higher than market value, it just sits. So that's what we see happening right now. I just wanted to give you an update on what's happening. And if you need help with a house that you have for sale, I buy houses, I list houses, and my contact information is down below in the description. Let me know if you need help. Thanks.